हेलो हम आ गए हैं आ, वो बूढ़ी औरत के बेटे को ढूंढने के लिए जैसे कि तुम देख सकते हो मैं रिपेयर कर लेता मैंने कहा बेटर ओ डैमेज बढ़ा भी सकते हैं रिपेयर करके बाईस हेल्प ये तो मैंने नोटिस ही नहीं किया हाँ तो जैसा मैंने लास्ट वीडियो में कहा था मुझे ये गेम नरेट करके ही बताना पड़ेगा क्योंकि इसमें बहुत सारी साइड क्वेस्ट है और साइड क्वेस्ट की वजह से मेन स्टोरी से ध्यान हट जाता है तो जैसे तुम देख सकते हो मैं अभी फिलहाल नरेट ही कर रहा हूँ तो ये नेक्स्ट वाले पार्ट के लिए भी चलेगा ओके जैसा कि तुम देख सकते हो ये वही लड़की जिसको मैंने पिछली बार बचाया था अगर तुमने लास्ट वीडियो नहीं देखी है तो देख लेना ठीक ठाक ही है Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me except being locked up. Okay, thodi bahut time pass baatein karne ke baad maine bola I should proceed forward hmm? and main apne kaam ke liye chale. Yahan tak main bhatak hi raha tha ki mere ko mile ye mahashay. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Ni hem. AKA uh, mummy ka bachcha. Oh come on. We like to be friendly around here. At the least let me call you captain. Whether or not you command a ship, if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. So then, captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and uh call me Tucker. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes, I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Oh, acha. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Little boy, to hai ni. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, no, she won't look for me no more. Ah, you want to fake your own that about talking to your mother? You okay with the thinking you died? Don't you think that will hurt her? If you do this, I need some proof that I will do it. I will do it. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on, in the long run, you know. Nah. I'm plain out of ideas, then, Captain. I won't go back, and I can't think of a better way to get my mama to stop searching for me. No, that is not going to happen. I spent too many years there smothered by my mama's fears. Now that I'm free, nothing can change my mind. Uh, this is really nothing that could convince you go home. Uh, don't have time for this. Stellar Bay is not my home, not anymore. I finally found the space to breathe, and that's here in Amber Heights. Oh. Uh... ब्रो मेरे को ऑप्शनल था क्या ये सारे ऑप्शन खत्म हो गए रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम दिखा फर्स्ट यूनिट वेल मेट कैप्टन ओके जस्ट मैं परस्यूट बढ़ा के आता हूँ मेरे को राइट ऑप्शन चाहिए अपना मैं नहीं चाहता कि कोई गड़बड़ हो जाए 
Ah, bueno, no, 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 Help me, TS. Or, me jara handed me stealth leadership. Me, jara bhi nahi hai. Me bada deta hu. Pork me, mm -hmm. corporate change asset company ability cool down any asset. Change asset tasks to be set or complain. Moment penalty to accuracy. ये क्या है? Vendor prices. Look, the ability to fast travel and get convert. चल walk speed भी बढ़ाई दूँ यार. Well met, Captain. What do you need? I don't much want to talk about it, but all right, if you insist. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Sort of strategy for week. Show her the skills you learned. Of course. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No mm. one can. Let's go. Return to Agnes in years. Shall we? Stella, we shall never. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Hmm. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I here. need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger, this is every bit I've scrimped and scraped oh for God, years to save. But it's more man. than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. <laughs> now I... Don't worry about me, Captain. Mama and I will work this out. Okay. I'm going to get another. Let me check my churn up. Still away. Steel rat. Investigate left field tooth ball battery batting. Convince Velma to negotiate. Velma manage the way of so. Now, Velma is up. What scene is that? Sometimes I question my decision to be out here. But then I remember free will is just an illusion. Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. Hey, Velma, I got your caffeinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will ya? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. 
I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. I think if he's Caleb dead. wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I don't even want to think about that. Or how far behind Braxton Gloss alone is going to put us. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? Nope. Just remember that I have to go up to the Londo. That's okay. I'll get a little bit of a raise. This is a very long story. What do you think, think you're doing? Okay, take it. Bye. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? Uh... वो ऊपर कहीं खड़े थे वो कहीं ओके okay, फिर उन लड़कों को ढूंढते ढूंढते मैं इसी मैप में एक जगह में आया जहाँ पे एक बंदे से मैंने बात की उसने मेरे को थोड़ा बहुत इधर उधर जाने का काम दिया था ये पूरी कन्वर्सेशन ये रही है Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Yeah. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's perhaps or Auntie Cleo herself? Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Okay, so what exactly are you hoping to accomplish with the other corporations? Why would you want to bring them back? What can I do for you? This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Okay, your left kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Okay. Apparently not. Okay, what do you think? Who cares what you think? You are in charge now. That's what you want to give me so much of your soul to corporates. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What can I do for you? I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He 
is not the brightest of minds, but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. That's not what I would call it. Still, I had him posted on the landing pad in hopes that he'd stay out of everyone's way. I'll see about additional training. With the whole board, as a matter of fact. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Well? Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think but rather with meticulous documentation. And the dissemination of the proper ideals and information to those in the highest echelon of society. On the contrary, I would say good documentation is for everyone. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Corporate espionage. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Your best delivery yet, sir. Celia? Already noted for your review, sir. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Is it really illegal if the board's the one that makes the rules in the first place? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. Oh, I imagine you do. 
But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. <laughs> I knew you were the right person for the job. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Okay, back to finding Caleb. Trust me, Caleb would run a lot of time. I was going to go to the city. I was going to go to the city. I was going to go to the city. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Got an update for us? We can't afford to sit this out for too much longer. Know what I mean? How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. As agreed, here's your compensation. Ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. जाओ भाई कैलेब से बात करने के बाद मैं ये नीचे पे ही बेस में एक इस लेडी से मिला तो ये कुछ बता रही थी देख लो भाई मेरे को नहीं पता क्या होता है well 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 let's get down to brass nuts then shall we brass wait that ain't it brass rats let's let's talk business I'm headed back out there after I sober up you want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Oh, you want information for nothing. Very well. I am no match for your nego... Nego... <coughs> your yammering? Here's how to get to Devil's Peak. Go south, along the road, not the river. Look for the mountain with devil horns. Watch out for raps and mana swarms and marauders, and sulfur pits, and you know it'd really be safer if I went with you. You want to reconsider so bring me up? You do what you like, stranger. I'll be here in the meantime. You got me stuck in an hour long ride. Bye, man. I'm gonna be more crowded than that. Man, I'm gonna be on my own. Which one is it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Go! 
gran, para gran. Just wonderful. Someone's destroyed the damned bridge. It's just a Jana Prego. We will level up one in here, don't say. Damage hit me, eh? Very well, he is. A chicasi damage, eh? Why? Tabi bini ora. Weapon choice. I have your back, Captain.
I'm gonna need to hurry up here. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Man, oh man, it has been a blue moon since I had to break out the Hockemspiel. <clears throat> Allow me to paint a picture in your mind. A parcel of pure paradise nestled beneath a waterfall within a mountain. We've got activities of leisure. We got proclivities for vice. We got booze and bets and non-communal beds. Sublight owned and run, so you know you're safe while you're breaking the laws. Check in at the saloon to start spending your bits now. Okay. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Indeed, that's a good disappointment to her. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. A uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Okay, I'll be back. Keep your wits about you. This is sublight territory. I don't like the way folks are looking at me, Captain. Like I'm a sandwich. Maybe I... Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Oh, I enjoy a good challenge. I'll get right to it then. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Okay. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. I run my Sprat carriers back and forth through the shipping tunnels near the waterfall. I ought to check there first. Good luck. And uh, don't get any ideas about pilfering the drugs for yourself. Okay. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like, with a wink. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Okay. What are you looking at? Ain't in the mood to chat. Keep walking, run leech. You could bury a weapon. I need a weapon. What do you think you're doing? 
Don't make me warn you again. Okay. No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. Can't fathom why you'd go searching her out. But it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fella swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. Okay. And now that I've run dry, or nearly so, the fellas have abandoned me back to Byzantium. You wouldn't leave a friend in need, I'm sure. You seen Arthur today? You don't think he got bridge cards? Team running that drop. Gotta put things into perspective. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. Obviously too common an ailment for insurance to cover. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzant. The we One thing's for sure.
Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just... Uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well? I'm half listening. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. If I could, I would have. It's my crew whose lives are on the line. Them dying's just bad business. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode Antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. 
stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Okay. <laughs> okay, after a little time pass, I was going to focus on the main mission I was going to go to the bridge and rescue one person So now I'm doing that And I'm not going to do all these things I won't do any harm, I won't do any harm I won't do any harm Oh 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 Well now. Looks like they were ambushed. We are see if anybody's still alive. They might be too weak to call for help. Okay.
bien haut d'elle. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Just remember, I still got bullets, in case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. Okay, uh... And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Yeah, don't wait on me. I'll head back to Fallbrook in a spell. I... Someone gone. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Uh, I'm fine with it. <sighs> yeah, don't wait on me. I'll head back to Fallbrook in a spell. Okay, so I hope 
तुम लोगों को ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी आ, मैं आई थिंक इतने तक ही करूँगा नेक्स्ट एपिसोड बाद में डालता हूँ आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम तब तक के लिए बाय बाय Don't know how you do it, but just got the flowers inside.